starting the day off with a run. Put in my hair mask. We're running, then shower. Then first meeting of the day. We have quite the day. Oh, quite the day ahead. I'm so tired. Good morning. Welcome to a day in my life in Copenhagen. I've been here a month and it's been truly the best month of my entire life. <laughs> Obviously, we know at this point I'm shit at posting in real time and posting chronologically all these things. Like, I wish I could, but editing on my own, it's just not possible. So I wanted to give you guys a glimpse into my life here, what I'm up to. Danish summer, it's been so amazing. I'm so excited to share all the rest. I'm gonna try my best to like push these out, but I'm still in freaking Sicily because I have issues with editing and I also am hating editing Sicily. But anyways, issue for another time. It is August 5th, the first day of fashion week. However, it's more so a prep day. I have so much. Oh my god, my stomach is grumbling. I'm so hungry. I have so much, but it's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna be seeing old friends, meeting with fun brands, going to fun showrooms. It's gonna be a good day. I woke up this morning naturally at 7.50 and was like, I need to go for a run. I was gonna go last night, but I was just so lazy and tired and I was like, I can't, I can't do it. So I promised myself I would run in the morning, but then I went to bed at 1 a.m. So I was like, that's probably not gonna happen. But my body woke up at 7.50, which is the exact time I had to wake up if I wanted to have the time. So I was like, hey, this is a sign. Ran for like 20 minutes. It was absolutely the most painful thing I've ever done, but I'm so happy I did it because this week is gonna be crazy. Lots of parties, lots of everything. So I know I'm not gonna be very active. And honestly, I only work out on the day I wash my hair. So I had to do it. But yeah, 20 minutes is all you need. Take this as a sign, go for a little 20 minute run. My dad said he read something that you really only need 20 minutes where you're completely out of breath. Like you couldn't talk to someone, take it or leave it. I'm meeting with Sophia from Organic Basics at 10 at Buka. I'm biking, so I kind of need to go because oh my Oh my god whenever it says it's like 10 minutes takes me 20 i don't know who arranged a google maps or if everyone here bikes like at two times speed because i've never made it somewhere in the time that google maps says i'm going to when i'm biking and i do bike well like i bike fast i think and then afterwards i'm going straight to a boom boutique event and i'll just update you as we go because i really don't have time to give a rundown like my day is jam packed it's the only day i get to be casual so i'm taking it where i can get it Last year? Yeah. Seven. That's one thing I wish I was better at. <laughs> the way I'm dressed. I want to say a huge thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. I'm wearing their knit right now, their cami. I've always been quite conscious of what I put on my body in terms of like skincare, but clothing, it just never really crossed my mind that I should care. I honestly don't know the science behind it. I just know that I should care a bit more, especially when it comes to underwear. It's up there, it's in there, down there. <laughs> I'm kind of transitioning into really wanting and caring about my underwear being made of something that I'm comfortable having so close my body and organic basics has just been an incredible discovery on that front not only is their underwear so comfortable it is certified sustainable that just means they meet really high criteria when it comes to sustainability everything is plant-based organic recycled i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about first we have this flex bralette which is a bit thicker fabric it really gives you like a lift if i am wearing something that's loose and i want some support this is what i go for so flattering another favorite of mine is this naked rip bralette it's incredible incredibly lightweight and I have the matching underwear that is invisible under clothing. It's super seamless. This is the color strawberry. It's my favorite. It's so beautiful. If you saw my other video where I talked a bit about organic basics, you saw the same boxer I have in pink and in green. The best like period panties to ever exist. Lastly, the smooth bralette. This is actually made from recycled nylon, so it's not cotton. It feels a bit more like a sports bra material and this I would wear under like a sheer brown long sleeve. I'm gonna link everything I showed you guys in my description and you can use my code Ava Malosh 
Ugh, 10 for 10% off your order. Thank you again, Organic Basics. Love you guys. Let's go through the schedule. Load showroom at two, which I thought was this morning, but I'm confused, clearly. Also, noise showroom. I need to pick out an outfit for a Levi's event. And then at four, I have my nails. I'm getting them done at Pilgrim. And then at five, the cost showroom. And then at six, we have a beachy cocktail that I'm going to with Carla. I need to chug this water. just started a separation by katie kitamura and i just finished actually <laughs> i am reading a lot the woman destroyed by simone de beauvoir incredible frustrating it's like three parts there's zero overlap in characters or whatever three mothers talking about their relationships with their partners the first one's a bit older but a fading of young love the second one's a bit like whoa and it's called monologue and it's quite intense and then the third one it's about this woman her husband's cheating she like allowed Allows him to continue his affair and it's this whole thing honestly actually infuriating i don't understand how that could be possible but okay i can't even explain a book right now like that was pure confusion if you are debating reading this you absolutely have to i thought it would be like this huge theoretical thing it's not it's amazing and now i'm just starting a uh, separation so far our narrator shares how her and her husband are separating and they've been taking time away from each other before doing the deed of divorce whatever he goes off to greece i think and then kind of goes am i and his mother contacts her and is like do you know where Christopher is and she basically buys her a ticket and is like you have to go find my son it's not normal for him not to call me back Christopher had asked her not to tell anyone that they were separating so the mother doesn't even know that they're not living together she goes to Greece he's nowhere to be found that's kind of where I'm at right now apparently it's a bit about like unfaithfulness marriage I'm really curious about this so far I really like the writing when I like the writing it's hard for me to dislike a book because even if like the story ends up being bad at least I can appreciate the artistry <laughs> so I'm just gonna read this I take photos of passages I think are relevant I then will quote passages in my reviews that I write actually my sister showed me that and then I can like highlight it mark it up in photos because I don't like to write in my books I feel like once I start annotating a book I kind of get lost it's kind of all or nothing for me so either I'm annotating highlighting everything and then my books just ugly destroyed and just over annotated or I don't at all so I feel like this is really a good solution to that Off to load. I'm running late. <laughs> Classic. Just gonna pick out some clothes for the week, some fun outfits. Yay! Now a bit more chill, time for pampering. And then right after I'm going to the coast showroom to catch up with Emma, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so nice to see her again. I miss her. <laughs> oh. And then I'll come back here and do a last outfit change for tonight's event. Okay. changed got this at noise from copenhagen muse it's so beautiful and then with jean I'm gonna go back into the city beachy's having an event there they can have like collagen drinks and stuff i'm going with carla end the day with a nice health boost i have been running around literally all day it's been awesome oh 
And these are my nails, super neutral. Oh my God, that was my hip. I did a neutral chrome because for a campaign I'm shooting, I need to have really natural nails. I wanted to like polka dot something fun, but I'll just do that next. This color is so beautiful. I think we're gonna have an early night. The rest of this week is gonna be wild. I have been biking to and from the apartment. <laughs> All day I am shattered. If it were steps, I think I'd have like 50,000 steps. So exciting, everyone's in the city. Let's go meet Carla. This bag is so cute. I love how cozy up and like in your armpit it goes. I just think it's such a cool look. <laughs> gonna brighten my room thank you Vichy we also got a little goodie bag we met another couple friends there which is nice oh I bought a smoothie on the way back so I was like I've literally only eaten to be kiss rolls all day every event has like pastries and things I need some veg in my system collagen specialist cream and then the night version sunscreen love that for the eyes what is this Oh, food supplement, collagen powder. Awesome, from Oslo Skin Lab. I've never actually tried Vichy. Or is it Vichy? So I'm excited, loving these nails. I love how simple they are, but like still have a little zhuzh. I'm actually gonna open this right now. Let's do a taste test. Ooh, oh, that is so good. Mm. Usually smoothies kind of gross me out unless I make them myself because then I know what's in them I don't like not knowing what's in them, but this is really good kiwi able which is apple <laughs> lime matcha egg which is cucumber and which is linseed med vitamin <laughs> That's really good. I feel like I should save this for the morning because it has matcha in it I'm ready to have like the best sleep of my life read my book and just lay in bed and pass out It's only 8 30. Like I said this week's gonna be quite crazy. So I want to have an early night Okay Shout out to all my neighbors who have seen me naked one too many times. I feel like in Copenhagen, it's like in New York, like no one really cares. I want to say a final thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. I'm actually like not alive anymore. Okay, this is not what I'm craving right now. How am I such a lightweight? Okay, thanks for coming along. Stay tuned for more Copenhagen vlogs and check out my Instagram to see what I'm actually getting up to. Okay. <laughs>